Peace, all praise to the King. Today is June 8th, 2020. Um, yesterday, <clears throat> there was an event in Lakeland. You called a protest. Um, it was from 2.30. We arrived about 3 o'clock. You know, we left 4.30. We were home about 5 o'clock. About 7.15, uh, we have a police show up. Uh, we looked at the phone records to determine that the police were present from about 7.15 to about 8.45 for an hour and a half. Uh, myself uh, and feeding, uh, trying to feed my dog and um, <clears throat> my wife, <clears throat> you know, tell me um, police were at the house. Uh, what, what did when did you first see when you encountered the police? When I first walked into the house, I saw in the front window that they were approaching the house and they were coming in force. It wasn't one or two, it was multiple police. And they were walking together, approaching the front door. I. I didn't know my first reaction was, why are they here? So I rushed out to let you know. And we came into the house and they banged on the door. And we know not to open the door for someone that we don't trust. I told you to, to record them, so you, um, you know, I told you to go get the camera. And when you came down to get the camera, you were in this room right here, standing, standing right in this area, 10 feet away, uh, where the camera was retrieved off the counter, and then yeah. what happened? When I came down stairs I saw through the glass door through our glass door kitchen two officers through the glass door kitchen yes and what is outside of that door another door to the sunroom another door to the sunroom and outside of the sunroom. Our backyard. Our backyard. And is our backyard enclosed? Yes. How is it enclosed? From, from our, our fence, our wooden fence. We have a fence around the parameter of the backyard. And how did the officers get into the backyard? We have a metal gate that opens up and they climbed the metal gate. They climbed it? Why? Couldn't they open it? No. Why not? Because there's a lock on there. What kind of lock? Uh, a chain lock. With a chain? The, with a lock on it? Yeah. And so how do we know that they climbed that fence? Because it was Damage. It's damaged how? <clears throat> a part of it came off. Part of it got loose. Where the uh, hinge sits and yeah. uh, connects and serves and stuff. And we heard the, the commotion of the chain fence rattling 
you know, defense rattling. Uh, because we, we didn't think it was that they had jumped the fence at first, yeah. did we? How did I think that they got through? We thought that they got through through the fence because we were doing construction and fixing the fence. Yeah. And that's how. There was a gap. Yeah. Now, is there any other way that we know that they jumped the fence? Do we have another witness? Could have neighbors that could have saw it. Did Pam not say that she saw them jump the fence? She saw them in the backyard yeah. in blue. So that's how they got to this area here. And what did the officer say to you when she saw you through the glass door? When she <clears throat> saw me, she says that. We need to talk to Levi, and I. My natural reaction was, "Why are you on our property?" And she said that we need to talk to Levi. And she was saying this through the door. Through the door, which I was seconds away from from locking it because it was she was going to open the the door. And I started to record. How do you know she was going to open the door? Because her hand, her hand action was showing that she was going to reach for the doorknob. Mm -hmm. And my reaction was naturally to lock the door because there's a stranger in our home. Mm -hmm. And when I started, when I, my next my next reaction was to start recording and once I picked up the camera and started recording she told me that I was going to be arrested for recording. Um, did she say that to you directly? She said it to the officer that was next to her mm -hmm. and he was about six foot I would say. Mm -hmm. And. Did she say it to you directly? When I start, when I continued to record, mm -hmm. I had the camera on them, and she said that I was going to be arrested for recording. That was the second time you yeah. think you heard that from her. The first time it was she was talking to the other officer, and the second time she said this to you. Yeah. And, and did she say anything? Yes. yes. She also told me that to call her on her smartphone, to, to call her. And that's when I didn't feel safe in this room anymore. So I went outside of the kitchen and walked to the hallway. Mm -hmm. And what, what happened then? And then I had told you and we put the camera down on the table. Facing. facing them mm -hmm. and we went upstairs for our safety mm -hmm. and then what else did we see how, how many police did you did you say was here I no noticed there was three on this side of the house with the canine mm -hmm. and then I remember seeing another officer in the front of the the front side of the house corner yes. in the front corner and then I noticed there were multiple cops in the front yard mm -hmm. and then I also noticed there was another officer in the back corner of the house mm -hmm. and every time Can, I, could we see the other corner of the house no we couldn't see you can't see other. that side we yes. see the other side yeah and keep continue every time and every time I would look out the window, they were looking straight at us. Mm -hmm. um, from my perspective, they had about five police cars at one time stationed in the front of the house towards the right. They had one, looked like an animal control truck, 
in the corner at one time. They had two cars, police cars. Uh, one was a SUV, and the other one may have been the unmarked one, but they were stationed on the other side of the side of the house, the other street. Um, and I think there was two canines because there was one in the front and then there was one on the side. Now, did you hear anything they were saying when they came and knocked on the door? You said that you heard them knock, correct? I heard them knock mm -hmm. and I didn't hear clearly what they were saying. But I heard a big knock and they were saying they were giving some type of warning, so so call. I'm not for sure. Did you say that you think they were saying some kind of countdown? I I might have heard they, I'm not for sure, but I think that's what their intentions were. Now, we talked to the neighbor, Pam. Yes. They're right next door, um, who was very concerned and distraught and crying. Um, she was um, And we noticed that our Wi-Fi camera continues in this uh, and we're having issues with this Canon Legia Wi-Fi camera, which seems to shut off at certain times. Wi-Fi camera continues to shut off. Um, we um, don't have the other camera operating at the moment, so we're operating with this Wi-Fi camera, which also shut off while the operation was being conducted. Um, when the neighbor was telling us what she heard, what did she hear, when, what did she say? Again, it seems like we're being hacked into this camera. We're going to try to go ahead. The, the anyone else see that we talked to what was happening yes who did we talk to our neighbor our neighbor Pam. next door yes. and did she see uh, say that she heard anything yes she what did she say she heard she heard the officers outside of her front door saying Levi, come out of the house. Come out of the house or we're going to send the canine dogs in. Send the canine dog. At least canine dog or canine dogs. Now, we saw one dog on the right side of the house. Yeah. I saw another um, officer walking another dog on the sidewalk on the side of the house. So it's, it's from my view that there was two canine units. And she was, you know, scared for us. Yeah. She told us, and she had, she had cried, you know, when she was speaking to us. And she told us, what else did she tell us? That we were bad neighbors. No, she told us that we were the best neighbors she's ever had. And uh, that we. Um, do we know that anybody else, you know, is there any other neighbors that, that we talk to? Yes, we talk to our neighbor across the street from us. Well, we didn't talk yeah, to her. Yeah, we haven't spoken to her, but we talk to her. Well. As neighbors, we talk to her. Well, yeah, but what I'm saying is, she dropped a note off, and the note is actually right over here. So she must have, her name is Betts, and she must have seen something. She's, she's saying that she's willing to help us. Um, now, what 
happened afterwards. We went upstairs. We said that we think they were there for about an hour and a half. Yeah. Uh, you said that you saw some flashlights. Yes. And what was that? They were flashing through the towards the window. Towards the window. And they were they were there. They surrounded the house heavily because every time I looked out the window, they were looking straight towards the window. Do we have any idea of why they were here? No. Did they tell me or anybody that they were under arrest? No. Did they say anything about a warrant? No. So, what did they say? They needed to talk to Levi. They needed to talk to Levi. And then they were gone. Yeah. And we estimated there was about 10 police. We thought. If there was six or five cars, six, seven, eight, well, I guess it had to be eight at least, right? And is there anything else that you would like to, to bring up? Make you feel in danger. 